What's up Rant Gang, welcome back to Red Fern Rants, I am Jay Red Fern, now if you watched yesterday's video, I've done the first in the three disc tracks between Tom McDonald and Mac Lethal, Lethal Injection, um, obviously I haven't heard Mac Lethal's dish, which, which we're about to listen to, um, what was it called, Single White Female was it, something like that anyway, um, yeah, haven't got, haven't listened to it yet, but we're about to. Um, after hearing Tom's, I'm wondering why he's replied, but let's see what he's got to say. I mean, no one's undisciplined. Know what I mean? There's always something about someone you can poke fun at. It just is. Everyone's got something you can poke fun at. It's just um, how they take it and how their fans take it and how. Everyone who's neutral takes it and sees it and sees you win. So, yeah, just the fact that Tom had two distracts and then Matt Little hasn't responded again, it kind of tells me that Tom probably won this. But yeah, we'll stop ranting and we'll get into it. So, Matt Little, single white female, if that's correct, I think it is. Let's go. A little story about a single white female Her name is Tammy, but you'll need some fine details She gets up on the internet and argues with strangers Cause inside she's full of insecurity and anger She tries to be edgy, that's her rap ploy But back in the day she was a frat boy This whole track is not this, is it? The three, nearly four minutes, even just... Like... Hitting false stops at the end of each... Rap... Frat... Boy, and then I no, don't do this with the whole rap, please don't do that. Because everybody hates her, but no one even cares. So now I'm gonna grab the bitch and throw her by the head. Hey, yo, single white female, it's time to make the jade burn. Where's your okay. fucking balls? Little bit you like your gray worm. How you gonna let a little tweet hurt your feelings? Did I bruise your ego, little girl? What are you revealing? Your whole fucking gimmick is claiming everybody's too PC and sensitive. So why you want some victim shit? If somebody don't like you, that shit straight troubles you. Why the fuck you acting like an SJW? You rapping like you wanna make America great again. But you're not even American, Tammy. You're Canadian. You live. <sighs> That's not a diss. <laughs> I, I, it's weak so far for me. It's really weak so far. The safest fucking country in the world. And you act like you're a press man. You're such a little girl. Speaking of little girls, you want to diss my daughter? Damn, that's a cheap shot. That's so damn disgusting, man. Like th That's the one thing I will kind of agree on. I don't think dissed his daughter. I, don't, I wouldn't say dissed his daughter, but just don't mention. Just don't mention the kids. That's all. That that's my only gripe with what Tom done. Just don't mention kids. It's not. That's just a, the non-acceptable thing for me. I can throw cheap shots too. Let's talk about the fact your girlfriend used to suck off R. the rugged man. You. Is that true? Is that true? Was Nova with R. A. the rugged man? Didn't know that. Did not know that. Now I'm not saying it's true. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, you let me know in the comments. I'm sure you will. They say I'm rapping filler. Your girl is a king of the dot groupie that be letting rappers filler. We got mutual friends. They gave me dirt. These are facts. Your girlfriend ghost writes half your raps on YouTube. <sighs> I, I really doubt that. I really don't know the ghost rapes. Ghost rapes. <laughs> ghost writes half of his raps. Um. I'd say she probably helps him when he's stuck with maybe, I think I've been told in the past she helps him with his choruses maybe, that's not right in half your raps, but what rapper writes all their own choruses anyway, I don't, I don't know, I, I guarantee most of them don't, I just guarantee that, also, um, I bet you there's 99.9% .9 of rappers when they're looking for something in a verse, they might just ask the opinion of someone, I'm, I'm sure everyone does that, like, um, like they can't think of something like a word or something like a particular thing, and they, and they might ask someone, hey, what's, you know, it's not, that's not right in someone, I, I don't know who does that, I'm really doubting that, I mean, if she did, why why would she not be releasing more music herself, do you know, it doesn't make sense, does it? Video of mine has more views than all your fucking videos combined, speaking of YouTube, you click 
bet you it doesn't anymore. <laughs> I bet you it doesn't anymore. <laughs> I'm irrelevant. I got two million more fucking subscribers than you do. You wear women's clothes and Nicki Minaj braids because you gotta hide the fact that you secretly got AIDS. You think that I'm not paid? Silly bitch, I'm a millionaire. You want proof? Meet me at the bank and I'ma kill you there. White on white violence. Damn, it's snowing. You're the fucking rapper quibble in a Candace Owens. I heard you block people on Twitter because they told you Matt Lethal is bigger. Sweet Jesus, you're bitter. What's the matter, Lele Pons? Did my lethal injection get stuck in your vajay? J wrong? Oh, what's the matter, Meth Lamore? You need another stupid white boy gimmick to move some units out the record. The fact that he had to put Meth Lamore across the screen tells me that he wasn't confident enough in that <clears throat> in that bar that he he didn't think people were gonna get what he just said. So he had to put it across the screen so they understand. I mean, I probably should do that. Just because of the way I talk, sometimes people can't understand the word. Sometimes, but yeah, um, up to now, average. I'd say it's, it's even maybe even below that. You're not a lyricist. You're not controversial. No one is offended by you, and that really hurts you, bro. You lie about your height. You're not six five, you little man. You look like Kid Rock had a meth baby with Lil Xan. You look like Lil Pump had a crack baby with Bad Baby. What's the matter, Elsa? Why you acting sad lately? I'm a martial artist. You fake wrestle, bitch. You aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. Lady! <laughs> you aren't the man, but you do look like Becky Lynch. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. He doesn't look like Becky Lynch whatsoever. Um, for those of you who maybe don't know who Becky Lynch is, she's a Irish... Irish girl who wrestles with WWE or did I don't I don't think she's there now I think she had the baby and left but um yeah and Becky Lynch is now listen I'm... <laughs> Becky Lynch is gorgeous by the way um Tom looks not unlike Becky Lynch so yeah that uh, Tom's cool and all that but yeah you ain't no Becky Lynch looks wise <laughs> and gentlemen coming to the ring right now. This man is a Canadian who would give anything to be American. Standing five foot eight, I mean uh, six foot five, weighing seventy two pounds, Tammy McDogford. Oh shit! Let's watch this wrestling video. Oh my god! What kind? What kind of fucking move is that? What is that? <laughs> In your diss song, you tried to. That was so bad. What? Well, that was so bad. The fact that. Ugh. The fact that he was trying to be funny by calling him Tommy Mac Dogfart and then he just highlighted one small section of the match to try to be funny when it, and it wasn't funny whatsoever and the fake laugh was even worse. Um, that I was gay right. You're the motherfucker that be dressing up in great tights. See you and other half naked men can fucking play fight. You just need an excuse to lay there and take pipe. In America, hog is another word for dick, which is the reason that you have it tatted underneath your lip. Cause you love dick, bro. You give enough head. You wear nail polish, motherfucker. Nuff said. You ain't skilled, be quiet. You look like Billy Eilish. Did too many pills and got filled with violence and killed her stylist. I heard your diss, bitch. I ain't bust to sweat. You diss ICP, homie. Your girl. A juggalette. You say I'm in my 30s like this shit is a bad thing. I'm healthy and I'm rich and I'm living my rap dreams. My kids go to a nice private school. I got a sick fucking house I own by own. How the fuck you gonna try to say I'm having an identity crisis? You're a 30 year old man dressing like this. I wear normal clothes. I don't need controversy and shock value. I grab the mic and pour my soul. Let this shit be a lesson in how you thirst fame. From here on out, your name is infinitely cursed, man. Cause if you say your last name, you you have to say my first name. Bitch, my fucking rap name is in your fucking birth name, Mac! <laughs> so what was the funniest thing about the end of that? The fact that he was trying trying to sound gangster, he was trying to sound hard. Mac! Yeah, fucking Mac! Oh, shut up. Shut up. Um, it's not the worst diss track I've ever heard. It's not. The worst response I've ever heard, but it's up there. It's up there. Uh, that was that was trash for me. Um, I don't feel like it was hard hard hitting enough. He didn't really say much except 
what he, he talked about the fact that Tom was a wrestler. He talked about the fact that Tom likes to wear a certain type of clothes and looks a certain way. I mean, is that is that it? Is that is that all? <laughs> it's just yeah, it was absolute nonsense to me. That I was looking forward to it, hearing the response to. Um, yeah, obviously I might be a little bit biased towards Tom. I'm, I'm a fan of Tom. And and you know what? The first time I heard Tom, I wasn't a fan of Tom. Um, I didn't hate it, but I didn't get it. I just didn't get it. Um, I didn't. I started in the wrong place with Tom, I think. And um, I think that's what the problem was. But then I only had to listen one more time and I started to hear a lot of the people were hearing then. And obviously since then, I've, I've kind of got to know the guy and understand him a lot more. And now I'm a fan. I don't want to diss Mac Lethal too much because I have seen him in the past battle rapping and he weren't too bad to be honest with you but um, as far as this goes I can't. it's just it was false to me it was like trying to be it was like trying to be fake at the end he was trying to be like portray himself as being a hard guy he's not he's, he's not um, yeah, I don't know, it was a bit corny for me that. And people might say Tom McDonald's corny, but that's your opinion. He's even got a song saying I'm corny, so it kind of agrees with you. But yeah, yeah, I expected more. I did, I just expected more. From a battle rapper, I expected more. I really did. I think maybe that's what the problem was with me for this one. I've came into it expecting too much, and when you do that, you always get let down nine times out of ten you get you get let down so um i said i don't know why he's responded to tom's rap now i don't know why tom responded to this <laughs> maybe just to put the final nail in the coffin maybe to just shovel that last bit of dirt on it i, I don't know but we we shall see we shall see so until part three when we listen to tom mcdonald well, I don't can't remember what it's called, but I'm sure I'll find it on the day. Tom McDonald's next disc track, which ends this whole beef, obviously. <sighs> um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. If you're a Mac Lethal fan, let me know if you think I've done him a disservice. Listening to that, I don't think I have. But let me know in the comments whether you're a Tom or a Mac fan or just a neutral. Let me know what you thought of that in the comments. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully I will see you all on the next one.